yeah! There are not one, but two new Backroom games coming soon, and in this video, we tested out one of them. Level Unknown Backrooms is a high quality, photorealistic co op horror puzzle game set in the world of the Backrooms. There will always be some excitement when a new Backrooms game is in the works, especially one that, by the first looks, seems to be made by an indie company with a passion for their craft. In this demo, we got to play through two levels of the backrooms, whereof one took place in a hospital and another that was more like the classic backrooms as we know it. At this point in history, we feel that Escape the Backrooms is the game that has set the standard of what you want a backroom game to be. And even though we don't want to compare any new game with that one, we do want any new game to surpass that game. Where Escape the Backrooms had the vast variety of levels, with colorful settings and surrealistic set pieces, creating this excitement of never knowing quite what's to come next, Level Unknown Backrooms is looking to continue that trend. I just took a green one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, this is the good stuff. This is the good stuff, baby. Oh yeah. We would even go as far as saying it's going all in on the surrealistic and unexpected. And you know what? We are all for it. So what can you expect from this new Backrooms game? You can expect a game with incredible graphics that goes for a more photorealistic style. You can expect a variety of levels, a lot of puzzles to solve and monsters to run away from. You can expect the unexpected and the name of the game will most likely live up to its name. You will never know what level to come next and where it's headed. In that sense, if you have played Escape the Backrooms or Inside the Backrooms, you can expect a similar gameplay here, which is nice as it will be familiar and easy to get into. Though there are some things we do hope will be addressed before release. No, it takes a... Uh... It takes a bit... It's complicated, right? yeah. To begin with, at the moment, there are no ways of turning off the motion blur, and many people are sensitive to this and do get motion sickness from this effect. We are not sure if this is just not an option for the demo itself, but it is important to address the importance of the option to turn this off. As for the voice chat, we do really like that they went for a more realistic approach to it as the sound of the radios does indeed sound like how it would be in real life with the crackles and sound filters. Though right now we did have a lot of issues with the sound cutting out if there was more than one person talking at the same time, and the realistic effect of the radio might need a little tune down as it was very often hard to understand what someone said. Though the most important thing to add is the ability to toggle on voice detection, as right now the game only has push to talk, which honestly is a big annoyance. Right now there is no text chat either as we could find, so for anyone who dies during a level you have no way of communicating with anyone and it becomes a dead silence and a bore as the levels themselves seems to be of quite a length as well. As of right now, we do feel Lethal Company have set a new standard of introducing voice chat between anyone who's dead during a run, and we do wish new games would do the same as it makes the game more engaging and entertaining for those who are just spectating the game. The gameplay makes you able to pick up a lot of different objects in the game, everything from wheelchairs to pickles, but we never saw any practical use of it and it seemed to be a feature that had no real point to it. And if that is the case, it just creates a lot of unnecessary confusion as there are also objects you need to pick up for different puzzles. What you can't pick up for keep and what are just random objects laying around is hard to distinguish between and you won't know what is what until you actually pick it up. The choice of having the doors being opened by holding the mouse button and dragging it around also didn't seem to work well all the time and created a lot of frustration. Other than that, there are some bugs to be expected, 
most noticeably how we had issues every time the level restarted. Every time this happened, at least one of us bugged out and we had to restart the level several times before everyone was able to keep playing. There was also something really weird happening when one of us tried to revive another player by using a token you can find through the levels. So, should you be excited for level unknown backrooms? Hell yeah you should! Taking into consideration, we do expect some of the complaints we had about the game to be fixed on release. This is a really high quality, well thought of backrooms game that seems to be made with true passion and a love for both game developing and the backrooms universe. It's going to be scary, it's going to be surrealistic and unexpected. It's going to require teamwork, and it's going to be a lot of fun. We are really looking forward to the release of Level Unknown Backrooms, and so should you.